right, everybody, let's get started with the stream for the day. All right, everybody. Yo, what's going on, Snake? How is everybody doing today? I hope you guys are doing well. We have a nice little stream planned for you guys today um, regarding some tattoo stuff. So, uh, what are we gonna get into today? Um, so I have a couple of things that I'd like to do with you guys today. Um, I think the first thing that I'd like to do with you guys today is probably work on an original piece. Um, but I wanna try to work on it all over again. So let me show you over here on the close up. Okay, so that's the end. All right, so uh, these are my sketches that I first started doing right over here back when I decided, this was back last year in 2022. Uh, we're already 2023. Yeah, so uh, this is when I started drawing last year. Uh, year one. This is supposed to be 20, 2022 to 2023. Uh, I don't know what I was doing. In any case, uh, there's a drawing in here that I really like that I would like to redo with you guys and uh, maybe see if we can't get that at least spit shaded for you guys uh, while we're on stream today. Um, so the one that I liked, let me find it because I have a lot of my all my practice sketching all my practice sketches so this is the uh, scene that I'd like to try to redo so this particular scene right here uh, oh well it's already right side up so if you see here we have this nice little kind of like Hawaiian scene um, this was like my first ever oh, me one second So, like I was mentioning, uh, this is my first attempt. Did this? This might have. Yeah, this might have been another attempt right here. I don't know where this one came from. Uh, this right here was my very first attempt ever, like at a beach scene, like a traditional beach scene. Um, I'm not too sure how traditional the palm tree or the sun is. So, like, that's kind of why I put the uh, title as like neo traditional, because I'm not too sure if it falls under the traditional stuff. This is my first attempt at like a kind of a traditional scene. I'm not too sure how traditional the palm tree is. I'm not too sure how traditional the uh, the sun or the waves look. And I have a different technique that I'd like to try for the beach scene. And I'd like to try to get that um, palm tree a little nicer. So we're gonna try to redo this scene completely, but we're using this as a reference. That's gonna be the first thing that we do today. Uh, the second thing that I'd like to do with you guys today, besides re-attempting re to color this scene right here, which is one of my very first attempts at traditional drawing ever, um, we also have this flash seat that I finished a while back. So this flash I just finished, uh, I want to say maybe like a week ago or like two days ago. No, it can't be a week. It has to have been like two to six days. It's been like two to six days. I don't really necessarily recall because I actually did take a couple of days to do this. Um, I did the drawing, the line work, uh, and the spit shading um, all at separate times. Um, I think I did the the the, the I think I did the um, 
the little sketches and the line work the same day. And then I came back and I spit shaded another day. And then I've been letting the ink dry into the fabric of the paper for a few days because I don't want today when we attempt to paint over this, I, I really am hoping that the, the spit shading and the all this very nice like shading doesn't uh, kind of smudge out of the picture. So we're also gonna attempt to color this flash sheet that I've made. So that's where the title comes from. So we have our um, traditional drawing that we're gonna redo right here. And then we have some spit shading that we're gonna do for that drawing. And then we're going to color the spit shading that we've already had finished. So that's gonna be the itinerary for the day. Um, with that being said, <clears throat> I'm also gonna try to do it on a different size paper. Now, again, I don't have an apprenticeship for tattoos just yet. I'm, I'm actively looking to get into an apprenticeship somewhere, somehow. Uh, so I'm kind of having to decide how I'm gonna practice my own stuff, like my own way. Um, and I know that I'm gonna get different size tattoos, different size flashes. So what I'm gonna do today is I'm gonna try to work with less surface area than I had for my first tattoo stream. Um, the first tattoo stream actually had a lot of those shapes from that flash in it. So if you go back to my first tattoo stream, guys, that I did have, uh, I think it was last week, um, we did a design for a friend who was having her birthday. It was gonna, it was a coffin with two roses and then it had some nice little fonting on the bottom of the coffin box. Um, that one I used the entire page and it kind of gave me a lot of room to be free. I'm gonna try to work with a smaller surface area as well. This should do two things for me. It'll give me practice on a different size of canvas. So I'm gonna have to be very aware of my dimensions, how I draw out my, my tree, the beach, the sun, everything like that. Um, but uh, secondarily, besides that, it's gonna save time so that I can spit shade something a little smaller and then we can get to the coloring a little quicker. So killing two birds with one stone on that one. All right, so I'm going to trace out the amount of shape, the space that I have basically. Uh, I kind of want to smooth that out. Let me see if I can smooth that cut out and make it nice and square. All right, where do I have my ruler at? Here it is. make this as straight as we can okay, I'm gonna try to cut along that line So that's a little straighter. I mean, we don't have it to have it be super perfect. Actually, it being a little bit off kind of gives it a little bit of character, in my opinion. So I like it. I'm cool with it. All right, so we have roughly this much space to work with. Now maybe what we can even do is I can work on framing my flash. I have to erase that right now, no worries though. Okay, so we have roughly that much. Let me get this. Oh, that came off really nice. Really, really nice. Okay. So we don't have to have this look really pretty. Uh, this is gonna be fine for us to have look like this because we are going to transfer it over to this card anyways. Uh, by the way, this is just basic, like standard uh, sketch paper. There's nothing too crazy about it.
literally just um, it's just gonna be uh, praying sketch paper. Ah, the Discord that I did not change that I'm gonna get in trouble for not changing it. <laughs> All right, so again, this is going to be. This is gonna be the design that we kind of take a little bit after. I like the fonting actually quite a bit. Um, I'm not sure if I'm gonna do the Aloha. Uh, I might do something else, but we're gonna try something along these lines. Something along these lines. Coke is finished, perfect. Now I have a place to sharpen my pencil into. All right. Okay, so we'll keep our little pencil shavings right here. We'll use this for a reference. So first things first, I want to figure out roughly where I'm going to be putting my palm tree. So let's start the beach off. I think that's good. Of space we have to work with. So we have the basic. I'm gonna put like a little disconnect right over here. All right. So we'll know where we can have differing colors. So this is gonna be rough, uh, rough outline of what we're gonna have done. So I'm thinking right over here we'll have the water and then right over here we'll have our sand obviously, right? Cause this is where we have our um, palm tree kind of popping out over. So uh, we'll kind of do a little arm right out over here. Let's do another one. Kind of right down over here. Do another one here and then we'll do another one. down over there so now we have the rough uh, leaves the rough shape of our palm tree leaf we have our little coconuts we're gonna have our water we have our sand so let's see I kind of want to do I don't know it's kind of weird because it's it is a, a palm tree scene but maybe let's do um, So we'll do like a moon right up over here. Um, I don't know if I'm gonna give the moon little beams of light just yet. And then let's put like a little oval. I think 
put like a little oval here and maybe I'll make like a little make like a little maybe like a little UFO or something all right something like that shorter as we go up the shorter as we go up the tree there we go Okay, we'll have our little UFO flying behind. Oh, you know what would be funny? Instead of having the banner saying Aloha, what I'll do is this. I'll put like a little, like a little Aloha right behind the, uh, right behind our little UFO. I think that'd be funny because that'd probably be a nice, uh, nice little homage to my, uh, to my first ever, uh, scene. And then this one will add leaves on both sides. Okay. Something like that. And same thing here. to denote this is sand all right and then I mean there are seagulls at night right maybe you could do something like that something like this uh, did you know that Hawaii is passing a law for a noise noise ordinance I did not know that but that makes sense what's the noise ordinance for for UFOs oh that's funny no kidding I don't know if that's a joke or not Jacob but that's actually kind of funny My favorite sketching pencil is getting fucked up, everybody. I don't like it. All right. So, uh, I think this is pretty good. Like, I, I didn't want to spend... Oh, wait. Nope. Let me add the little features to it. Basic, uh, little nice little scene laid out that I'm gonna try to fix up for us. Well, not try to. I, I mean, I gotta fix it up a little bit. Something like that. 
that's a denote waves and we'll whitewash the back of it and we'll do the shading in front of the waves going up towards the shore. I don't think I'm gonna directly put this line. I think it's gonna be an implied line for me to kind of do my coloring. So this is gonna be a darker shade of brown since it's wet sand. And then I'll have the lighter shade of brown behind it for the dark sand. I'm not too sure if we're gonna be able to get to the shading part, but I mean, I'll definitely try. Uh, sorry, the watercolor part, but I'll definitely try. In any case, we're definitely gonna be able to at least line this out and spit shine it a little bit. Let's figure out where we wanna put the Aloha at because Have you lost no. your computer chip at healthcare? Shut up. Um, like I was saying, I don't know. Should we put the Aloha? Uh, Snake, what do you think? Do you think there's already a, enough on the uh, scene? Because remember, we only have the square that I've done. That's that's as much as we have to, as much space as we have to work with. Looks good in my opinion. Yeah, I feel like it too. I feel like it's good enough. Maybe some stars, but um, I don't know. Let's see how that looks. I mean, this is gonna be our practice page, right? No, I don't, I don't, mm, actually, no, I don't know. I don't like that, I don't know. I think if I was doing this as a tattoo, I'd probably add the stars, but I'd probably add them later. And I'd probably would just do little dots of white ink. Uh. I don't think the Aloha would be back either. No, I don't think I'm gonna do stars. I think I'm gonna leave it like that. I think I'm gonna leave it like it. I think I'm gonna leave it as is. It looks good. Like Jacob said, in his opinion, it looks pretty decent, and I'm I, I'm inclined to share his same opinion. This is just practice, anyways. So it's not like I'm trying to get this absolutely perfect. I'm not gonna be throwing this on anybody's skin. This is just for us to have fun with together here on stream, and uh, see if it looks any better than the first time I did it. have our paper okay honestly I think I'm even gonna cut out some of that yeah let's put it like right here put it like right there yeah there we go that looks like it'll be nice that looks decent okay line marker Oh, I can't frame it, because it's going to be the entire scene. Okay, no worries. Okay, first things first, let's start off with our nice little palm tree. Oh, wait, you know what? Pro tip that I was given, that I'm going to do right now before I start moving this shit all over the place. Tape. The paper to your whiteboard. Sick. So now the bottom paper is not going to move at all. So I'm trying to get into the habit of pulling down on my marker in one like straight
messed up a little bit on this one right over here. I kind of fixed it by making the bottom one just a little bit thicker than normal. Not anything I'm going to be too worried about. have our original paper taped down because I am notorious for moving this shit around like when I shouldn't be doing it. Okay, let me see if anybody's messaging me. coconuts now. So we have the coconuts and our palm tree stem done, or the, the trunk. sure that I'm getting my nice bold outline done. for the sand. I think the dots will go really well. I'm 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 not going to put any dots where the uh darker color sand's going to go. I'm kind of wondering if I should dot it with the line with the marker or not. I don't know if I should. So I made the water a little more wavy than the land. I kind of wanted uh, to kind of like pull some of the little lines and the little wavies back from that just to give it more of that feel of it being water. Yo, how are you doing guys? Welcome in. Thank you so much for the raid, Issy at Capone. So sorry I have not played Minecraft with you yet, brother. 
I have a ticket for Microsoft Game Pass that I have been looking for. That when I find it, I got it for six months for free when I got my uh, Xbox remote. And I know I have it somewhere. So once I get it, I will get it. <laughs> He's always cute. Uh, and once I get it, I promise we will play. Pinky pinky promise. Welcome in though, guys. I'm doing like a little nighttime beach scene where I imagine it would be Hawaii or some other tropical location, Issy and Kapong. And then uh, I added my own little specialty by adding like a little UFO, maybe abducting some unsuspecting beachgoer. Ah, Snake Up, maybe you can join our, our uh, group. I know Capone is uh, is playing the role right now of, a, of an evil cartel boss of sorts. And I have uh, been conscripted to join his evil gang. But yes, welcome in, you see Capone. It is always a wonderful, wonderful time seeing you guys in the chat. So let's keep up with the line work. Now, uh, for those of you that are uh, watching, I know that there's like a line here, but this is implied. I'm just gonna make sure to remember that this is gonna be the area that I put darker brown into. Uh-oh. Oh, I think my battery overheated. No worries. So, this guy is the one who explodes everything. That is too funny, that is too funny. Okay, but yes, we're gonna imply that this uh, right here is going to be where our darker brown is gonna go. Okay, so we have, oh, let me put another one right over here. There we go, that looks a little more uniform. I am a farmer biznatch, I get all the mats. <laughs> yeah, and then uh, also, he, um, Kapan, um, Snake Up and May have already met. They, they hung out for quite a while before already and they got along quite well, so this is also great. I think he'll fit perfectly in. Let's do one more. Wave thingy right back here at the end. Okay, perfect. All right, let's work on the palm tree leaves. I might add a fifth one up at the top. We're kind of going to deviate, actually. Let's deviate a little from this. So we're going to put it down here now. one This one. And then one last one. All right, 
right, yeah, I like this a lot. That's a lot better of a palm tree. Uh, well, honestly, opposition to my gang was so uh, pathetic so far that I might need to recruit someone from the good guys. So they're still chilling with iron while me and my gang. <laughs> Snake up space of fear. As Capon is just reveling in future technologies. That's too funny. That is too funny. All right, let's add some leaves. I think these leaves are a little bit better. Let me make them all thicker though. Okay, that'll be fine. I think that'll look good whenever we get the uh, spit shading done up at the top end. Uh, I will soon finish the most powerful gold plus XP farm I have ever built. That is amazing, Capon. Absolutely incredible. I hope to be there by that time. Okay. I'll leave those ones a little more spread out. I don't like that the other ones have more leafage and these ones don't. Hmm. I think I'm fine. I'm, I'm fine. I'm good. Okay, so let's check our drawing so far. Wow, that actually looks really pretty. I think that's gonna look really nice whenever we start to spit shade it. I think it should look really, really, really pretty, actually. And we haven't added any color yet, so it's still gonna look nice. Also, we have the little UFO that we need to add. Strong energy drink, tell me more. It's uh, this Venom. Pretty good. Pretty dang tasty. Here, let me disconnect this real quick. Oh, this guy got hot. I think this thing might have... Oh. Whoa. No worries, I'll let it cool off. I think my little 
refrigerator died. Okay, it gets you where you need to go. True. True. All right. Um, let's add our little UFO now. That actually looks really cute. <laughs> that actually looks really, really cute. I'm already liking the little uh, UFO. I'm wondering if we should have it abducting something on the bottom, like with the little rays, because I feel like those little rays might kind of conflict slightly with the leaves, or we should put it like, I don't know, should we? I think I know what I'm gonna do. I'm not gonna, I'm gonna put some little, uh, I know exactly what I'm gonna do, okay. That's perfect. That's perfect. I like that a lot. So it's uh, glowing. A nice little glowing. Look at Muggler Muggler. Can I, can I get away with showing? Muggler! Mama! Look at that little face. <laughs> Look at that little face. Muggler! Muggler, 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 Muggler. It's my little... She's a huge freaking bed. She's so spoiled. And she has to be with me at all times, by the way, everybody. She cannot not be without me. If I if I have her outside of the room while I'm doing stuff, she loses her little mind. It is absolutely the funniest, cutest thing. Tractor beam of fish? That'd be so funny. We need a muggler cam. Oh my god, that'd be hilarious, dude. Mama, mama. Come say hi, mama. For the old kiss, mama. Jump, 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 jump. What do you think about my my little drawing, mama? Okay, go back to bed. Are you gonna hang out underneath? Okay, you're gonna hang out by dad's feet. Max, I love little muggler, muggler. So for those of you that know, uh, I had a house fire this last September, like two days before my birthday. Um, she was the only baby that I was able to successfully save from the fire. So I actually ran into the house while it was still burning. I was able to pull out my pug, my pit bull, and my three cats before they burned. Thank God. They unfortunately didn't make it because of smoke inhalation, so they did pass away. But that little mama was rescued, didn't pass away, and so she survived the fire. Mother, mother. The Unsinkable Muggler Brown, as I like to call her. The Unsinkable Muggler.
But yeah, ever since the fire, she's been like attached to me at the at the at the foot because she's not tall enough to be attached to the waist. But yeah, that little baby needs to be with me at all times now. Okay, let's do the uh, birdies. We'll put one over here by the, uh, we'll put one by the, uh, by the UFO and then let's do the moon, la loon. Honestly, for that one, I feel like I should just do a straight circle. Let's see, is this the same size? That's pretty good. No, 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 no. I'm not gonna do that. Do you think I should add some light coming off the moon, kind of like I did with the uh, top of the UFO snake? Like some uh, some little some little light beams coming off of it, kind of like the sun over here. I mean, it would imply, right, that it's like reflecting, because it doesn't. Moons don't produce their own light; they simply reflect it. What do you think, Snake? What do you think, viewers? Should I add uh, Capone, Issy, Snake? Do you guys think I should add uh, light coming off of our moon? Or do you think we should leave it alone? What do you guys think? Dealer's choice. Hmm. I'll leave it like that for now. I'll leave it like that for now. I'll leave it like that for now. I'll figure it out. I'll figure it out. I'll figure it out. If I want it, I'll add it. If I don't want it, it's not a big deal. But I do feel like I want to dot this line and then color it in brown, like a darker brown. I'll leave that as well for now. All right, everybody, that is our drawing now. So this uh, is not, this is not yet um, painted. Okay, obviously I do need to paint it, but this is the first uh, attempt I ever had. And this one might look a little bit better because it has a little bit of shading on the water. It has the shading in the, inside the, uh, the sand and on the bark of the, of the trunk of the tree and everything else, right? But. Honestly, I feel like this one's a little bit better. And I think this one's gonna look really, really, really cute whenever it's watercolored. I feel like it'll look a lot better watercolored. Like watercolor for me definitely is like a nicer medium in my opinion Perdiste than just a straight color Medicaid. pencil. Shut up. Perdiste Texas Medicaid. Llamamos ahorita mente, por favor. Okay, so I think that's good, that's good. Let's get my little watercolor. Sorry if you guys see my monkey feet. 
I literally have chimpan chimpanzee feet, I like to say. Okay. I like how it started from uh, just this simple little sketch right here, and then we get this nice little line work. I mean, obviously it's not the best. Uh, I'm still definitely working on a lot of stuff. Uh, I think the thing already, already kind of like uh, self, not sabotaging, but like self critiquing. Um, I need to get more consistent with the distance I place between my lines for my leaves, um, in my opinion. And I do need to get more consistent with being able to take my marker and then pull it in a straight single. Like I need to stop like taking breaks. Um, it's not a big deal when you're doing marker stuff, but from what I have been told and from what I've seen myself in online videos, I don't want, and again, I don't have an apprenticeship, so I don't want anybody to think that this is like a professional opinion or a semi-professional opinion, but from what I've been uh, made aware of, um, when you have the needle, the needle, it, because of the manner of how the needle's going in and out of the skin, you actually have to, if you, if, you get, if you get into the habit of breaking your line, you have to learn how to taper that line off so that you can start your new line right behind where you tapered out and then continue again. And that gets to be very difficult. And if you're not really good with tapering your lines off and if, you're, if, you're, if you come in a little too heavy and you put the needle a little too far underneath the skin, uh, you're, you'll have like a small little blowout and what happens is it looks like you actually can see the dot where the person stopped the line pulled out of the skin maybe got more ink maybe stretched maybe repositioned themselves and then went right back in and then started the you can see like a small dot right where they started the second line again and i i really truly don't want to have that habit develop for myself because i know for traditional tattoo stuff the biggest thing is solid lines, like solid, good, like just really stacked lines. And if that's the case, I need to start practicing now so that I don't get in the habit of ruining or like messing that up. Okay, now with that being said, I also need to start figuring out where I'm gonna wanna put my shading. I gotta remember in this spot right here, Okay, so I, I think I know what I'm gonna do. I'll put some spit shading here, pull it up, 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 and then same thing, we'll do um, the spit shading above the waves, and we'll pull it back out into the ocean, and then I'll brush all the blue in. Same thing with the little UFO, we'll put it on the edges, we'll brush inwards. And then, uh, or you know what, we can do it at the bottom, 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 bottom and then bottom, bottom, bottom. And then I'll leave the glass alone. Same thing with the moon. Maybe I'll add some little designs to the moon. Uh, we'll start on the bottom of the cocos, bottom of the cocos. We'll start right up against the leaves. Against the leaves, we'll pull down. All right, I'm excited. Okay, so we are now moving on with the spit shading portion of our stream, everybody. So let me get rid of this Coke can because I'm not gonna need to sharpen my pencil anymore for now. Or you know what, let me put it here. I'll put it here because a good artist always has access to their tools. Let me get my brush. And so these are my two brushes, everybody. These are my two babies right over here. Maybe they look a little better under here. All right, so if we see this one's flat and then we have one that's like a little more fine. So this is the one that never touches actual ink. Okay, this is the one that I'm gonna keep probably in my mouth, as gross as that sounds. And then this little bad boy right here, this is my line work. This is where I put the black ink onto the actual canvas. And I'm gonna need some black ink very, very, very soon. Try to twist my little tip right into a nice little point. Perfect. Just 
Making sure to get all the residual black ink that I had from before. I want to start with a fresh, fresh, nice, nice, clean brushes. I do want to highlight to my viewers uh, in the future that watch this as a VOD. Uh, I don't have anything fancy, to be honest. I'm going to show you guys exactly what I'm watercolor with. Um, it's a very meager watercolor set. Uh, I paid eight American dollars for this. And it has everything that you would need as a startup. So I got my black variations of my dark colors. So this is like a dark, dark teal. Uh, this one here is like a navy blue. Uh, we have my different shades of gray around the black. So it's a very meager watercolor set. This is nothing fancy. This is nothing super, super wild. I'm not spending like an obscene amount of money on stuff just yet. Because again, this is all practice, guys. I'm an aspiring artist right now. Um, I'm not charging anything for my time. I'm not charging anything for my ink. I'm not charging anything for anything, really. So I need to be conscious of that when I'm spending money on my supplies for now. As I start to get closer to moving towards uh, actual machine, which, you know what we could do right now real quick? Before we start shaking in, let me show you. So. I do already have a tattoo machine. So we already have a tattoo machine, uh, wormhole tattoos, which I think is kind of cool because I like have a lot of space themed stuff, but we got everything we need. So if we look in here, we have absolutely everything that we need. Okay, we have all of our sterile material. I have my uh, tape, my grip tape. This is for my gun. So that whenever I grab my tattoo gun, it doesn't slip out. Uh, got all my gloves. More grip tape. My true black ink. This is gonna be my best friend. Probably when uh, I do finally get a, an apprenticeship and have and get lucky enough to have someone take me on. I have all of my ink caps for my ink. And then, this is my baby right here. This is my baby right here. This is my rotary gun. I've only seen this once, to be honest. And I haven't even taken it out of the plastic because of... Look at that. Look at that. That is a beautiful freaking machine. Coils and all. This is the old school way. You put your needle right through there. You put it through the front. You secure it with the knobs right there. And then you have to set your own needle depth. I mean, this is as traditional as it gets, guys. Absolutely as traditional as it gets. I think this is my power supply. mistaken yes and then check out what else I got this is really nice a wireless pin so this one doesn't have a coil all I do is uh, you put the battery in the back right over here sorry right over here in the back um, this is for really good for line work this one right here is really good for line work because I'm not gonna be restricted this uh the one that I so showed you before guys the, uh, the the one with the coil that one requires a power supply and I actually do have to keep that one connected um, to like an actual outlet in the wall. Um, because, oh, get in here, ink caps. What are you doing? So I'm all set up. I'm ready to go, guys. I'm ready to start tattoo. Oh, well, I'm not ready. I'm ready in theory. And in spirit, I'm ready. <laughs> in practice, not so much so. But I got everything that I need already. I'm, I'm essentially good to go. I mean, I have my light board. Um, I have my, I have all my tracing paper. I have an insane amount of tracing paper. That actually gets put into a stencil. Um, like you guys saw, I have my true black. I didn't show you everything else. I think I have the three fundamental colors though. I think I have your blue, your red, and your green. Or is it 
yellow, green, and no, I think it's blue, green, and yeah, it's R yeah, RGB, yeah, red, green, blue. So I think I have my red, green, blues, and then I have some variants. So then I think I have a yellow, an orange. I think I have a, uh, and a purple, an orange, a yellow, and a purple. Yes, that's what I have, other, other colors as well. Um, so we got some stuff. We got some stuff, we're ready to go. Okay, I also think that I've given this uh, ink from the marker enough time to dry. So let's start. Okay, let's see. We'll do the leaves first. Let's try this one. I think I am gonna need to turn on the uh, lamp. It's too fucking dark for me. Sorry, guys. There we go. It's a little bit better. Okay. I know this is gonna make me look really bright, so I'm sorry. Yeah, that, I can dig that. So what I'm doing right now, guys, is I'm basically just pulling the really, really dark, dark, dark black that I did right up at the top. I'm pulling it off that top portion of the leaf. And I'm trying to blend it out. And so realistically, all of this gray wash way down over here should start to blend with my green for the leaf so it's going to be really light green kind of uh and you'll you'll see what i mean whenever uh we get to the color maybe i'll color this one also maybe i'll do this one and i'll leave the others um flash sheet for I believe the other flash sheet for my own self for practice later.
probably go in and pull more uh, dark ink off of this by adding some more ink into it because it's a big leaf. Maybe not. This looks good, actually. I like this. I like this. Just keep blending it. Actually, I like that. I think that might be the best leaf. That might be the one that's the least uh, overly saturated with color. Okay, that looks pretty good like that I like that we're starting to get some dimension out of our little drawing so this is good I'm liking this okay a little bit more Ooh, I did not mean to get that much water god damn it it's not fun okay um lot of moisture on this brush don't like it okay yeah there was way too much moisture on that fucking brush tip it's okay I'll come back in with uh, some more dark colored ink Maybe not actually. Ooh, no, I think that's good actually. No, 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 yeah, that was. Sheesh. I think I might have gone a little too dark on the first few leaves, to be honest, now that I'm thinking about it. too 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 dark i might still go back might still go back i'm not too sure This one's gonna be kind of the tougher, tougher of the leaves to do. Okay. Hopefully, I didn't get too much black on that one. Just to even it out, what I'll probably do uh, before I color this, I'll let this dry right now because I don't want to overwhelm, but I'm probably going to come back 
put another layer right underneath this leaf and then put another layer right underneath this leaf. These top two leaves are a little too like light. They're not colored in exactly how I want. So I'm gonna I'm, I'm gonna actually um, let it dry as is for now. So we can move on to the rest of the stuff, like the rest of the areas to paint some more stuff. But look at little Puggler, she's sleeping. Oh, sorry, little Muggler, she's asleep, poor baby. She had a half a hot dog, a half of a piece of pizza and some dog food. That's why she had the zoomies earlier, guys. She was fucking zooming. And then she's sleeping now. experimentation at this point guys Try to keep the there we go. Try to keep those lines as consistent as like as consistent as I can. So I'm trying to leave a little bit of negative space uh, inside the tree trunk area so that I could paint some brown in here. And I want the brown to saturate. Like I said, the, the whole point of gray washing or like spit shading this, these lighter areas, they're not gonna really keep that gray color per se. They're gonna, they're gonna get a little darker. Uh, and they'll have, they'll, they'll, they, they should take the saturated, oh my God, is that cosmic? Wait, 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 do we have another raid? What's going on? 
What? Miss Ashley, thank you so much for the raid. I didn't even see you pop in. I was over here painting my little beach scene so hardcore. Wow. Welcome in, raiders. Welcome, welcome. Sorry for the uh, super... I am way too into the artwork and way too into my music. Sorry about that, guys. So I am Cryptos. Welcome to the channel. Um, I'm a variety video game streamer as well as an aspiring tattoo artist. So I am basically trying to make my life full-time as a content creator uh, for the skin and for the soul and the mind, right? Um, please feel free to make your guys' self at home. Um, if you are friends with Miss Ashley, you are already by proxy friends with me. So uh, welcome in everybody. I hope you have a great time. Uh, Backseating is always welcome whenever we're playing video games and while we're doing our art streams, please feel free to drop your opinions. Let me know what you guys think of the artwork. If there's anything that you guys can help me out with, I definitely also appreciate the tips and tricks. Um, in any case, like Snake Up said, Miss Ashley, I hope you had a wonderful stream. I hope it was successful and I hope whatever it is you were working on or playing, I hope it went amazing. But yes, welcome in everybody. Oh no, I just talk a lot. <laughs> it's great to see everybody here. Cosmic, uh, Snake, Laura, AR, Ezik, everybody, welcome. Kind of bad, stream was very choppy when I tried to play my game, so decided to cut stream short and raid out. No worries, what were you trying to play today, by the way, if you don't mind me asking? Are you still working on Final Fantasy X? City Skylines, that's a fucking gr I love resource management and like city developing games like that. It's Those are so fun. I love those. I don't know, it seemed to uh, seem like a, I'm still working, bro. I just started the game. <laughs> kind of bad. But uh, yeah. Only because I timed out Ezek. Was Ezek being wild? Ezek's like, I was just living life, man. I'm just being me. Oh, yeah, that's the fucking ticket. That blend was immaculate. harder and harder as I go up this tree. This blend is getting difficult. And I really just want to take, uh, can you describe your watercolor technique to the view? <laughs> I know what you're doing, Miss Ashley. But I will, I will oblige. I will oblige since we're on a, a commercial for my music. Uh, so what I like to call this, well, it's, it's, it's actually in the, in the title, but I like to make it a little more lively. But it's called spit shading, the technique that you use, right? So it's a watercolor technique. It's, uh, I mean, you can do the same thing with moisture, to be honest, from your watercolor bowl itself. Like if you, if you didn't want to use your spit, uh, or as I like to call it, if you didn't want to moisten your tip with your spit, you could always moist the tip with the water in your bowl, right? But the point is to keep one tip moist whilst the other tip is used strictly for color, all right? So I always like to say you wanna keep your tips moist. You always wanna keep your tips ready to go. And the more you lick the tip, the better the, te the, the, better the effect. So you always wanna keep your tip happy by keeping it licked, if that makes any sense. Keep the tip moist. Absolutely, yes. The more moist the tip, the easier the whole experience goes. Did you catch my drift? Okay, music. I'll let you guys marinate when all of what I just said. I'm just going to let all of that marinate for you guys. The more you say tip, the more I'm going to act up. <laughs> Always lick the tip. The, tip the, the moist tip is the most important part of any equation, guys. You have a dry tip... Not a good day. 
moist tip, you're fucking having a party. That's what's going on. There's a fucking party going on. That was a little too much moisture. You see, I got a little too much. I got a little, my, my tip got a little too wet there. I had to dry my tip because it got a little too wet. You don't want to get lost in the sauce, everybody. <laughs> Degenerate. Oh, shit. That's great. You got to be aware of the moisture on the tip, guys. You can get lost in the sauce. I think it's gonna just be really hard for me to blend out anymore. So I'm just gonna blend as best I can. This shit is difficult. Uh oh, I see two mods in the chat. Everybody stop talking about tips. We got two mods in the chat. Everybody hide in the darkness. So we are almost about 99% done with our tree. Uh, like I mentioned, <laughs> where? Like I mentioned to you guys before, um, I am going to. Um... <laughs> Fair point. Fair point. Oh! How did I not wake up, Miss Smuggler? Fair point, Miss Ashley. Damn. You got me on that one. All right, let's get our little. Let's get a little coconuts painted up, everybody. I like that. That coconut is nice. Yo, snake up with the five gifted subs. Sheesh. AR, Kit Katsune, Monkey Man, Beak Beak for my Deek Deek and Cosmic Kaiju. Holy chic. Dude, thank you so much, Snake. I appreciate you, man. As per usual, the goat. little touch to this last little coconut there you go freaking sick actually everybody I like that a lot we don't have color added yet oh and this was the sketch that we started off with by the way so from that little weird sketch that you guys see this is where we're at right now 
So as you guys can tell, we changed up the design on our little UFO. I, I, I felt like this is just my opinion, and now thinking back on it, I probably could got it a, probably could have gotten it away. And maybe we could still add it. Uh, the little abduction beams coming down from the UFO. I could probably even add like a little bird getting sucked up and make him like a surprise emote or something. Um, but I don't know. I don't know. We'll see. Uh, I changed it up so now it's just glowing the little dome. There's a little alien in there we can all presume, right? Uh, also, if you see here, I wasn't too sure if I was going to go with like a circular or a crescent shaped moon. Uh, so I went with kind of a crescent shape, added some nice little burbs in the sky. And uh, I'm trying to decide whether or not I should add some of these illumination rays over our moon. So I asked earlier what I should do and uh, stream said dealer's choice. I said I will wait and I'm glad that I did because now we have more viewers. So everybody here that feels comfortable enough chatting in the, in the, uh, in the stream chat. What do you guys think? Should I add illumination lines to my moon? And I will even further ask the question, should I put the abduction rays on the bottom of my nice little um, UFO? Or do you think it flows well? We haven't added color yet also. So let's keep that in mind too. We still have to add color. Okay, so we have one vote for, for yes for snake up. I'm guessing yes is for the uh, abduction beams and for the light rays coming off the moon. Right, Snake? I'm just gonna assume that that's what you mean yes to. Uh, I vote for abduction rays. Okay, so we have two for, I'm guessing, okay. Two for abduction rays, one for moonbeam. What do you think about the moonlights? Uh, the moonlight, Miss Ashley, do you think we should keep it as is or do you think I should add the little beams? Okay, I'm just gonna send a quick little picture while I let you guys vote. All right. Okay, I say leave as is, that way the UFO will be the focal point of the image. Got it. The people have spoken. We will add abduction beams. Two and a half inches. Alright, so we've added the abduction rays to our little UFO, which I think actually makes it look way better. Saren, hello! Welcome, welcome! How are you doing? I like that a lot, actually, guys. That's really cute. Super, super nice. Super, super digging the abduction rays. Uh, and the little illumination stuff. Okay, cool. So let's keep working on our shading since we did that. Let's move on to our waves for now. How is the... Uh, I think it's early or late evening for you guys already, right? It's probably about 10 or 11 in the evening. 
Sir and so, how are you doing this evening? How are, how are you enjoying your night? I hope it's going well for you. Oh, and while I have everybody here, guys, I'm going to start doing two-a-days, I think is what we and my production team and myself have decided on. So, and that sounds way more professional than it is. Trust me, it's just me. It's just myself and my two other best dudes kind of just figuring out what the fuck we're doing with my channel. But uh, two-a-days was something that we wanted to try working on. So, uh, I'm not too sure if I'm going to commit to two-a-days every day of the week. Uh, but I think what I might do is like Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays, I might do an art stream in the morning. Uh, and then uh, in the evening, we'll do a video game stream. And then Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Sundays, it'll be strictly a video game stream and probably strictly just an evening stream. So, we'll see. Um, how do I want to blend this out? for there for now whatever it's all practice we'll get better if i don't like how it looks this time around i'll just know not to do it next time Actually, that doesn't look bad. I like that. That doesn't look bad. I like that. I like that. I like that. Okay, cool. We'll keep up with that. My favorite potato, how is you? Yes, Saren, how are you? Hope you're having a great day. Oh, I didn't even ask. Miss Ashley, what is the name of your city, by the way? Okay, not bad. Thanks. Just getting over a cold and covering a shop I don't normally work at, and it's so much quieter than my bake, sh bake shop. Nice! Do you like that? Or is it a little bit, like, weird since you're used to the hustle and bustle and loudness of the uh, other place?
Stream City, because I had planned on allowing the chat to start naming roads, buildings, etc. once the city got up and running. That's actually really smart. Holy shit. Good idea, Miss Ashley. It's a great idea. But, again, you never surprised me in terms of your ideas for your content and stuff. Keep, gotta keep this thing flat. Okay, so my closet city would be Peterborough. The closest. Okay, so my closest city would be Petersburg uh, or... Or is it Petersboro or Peters? I, I feel like I'm pronouncing it wrong. I think it is Borough though. Or Cambridge. I'm in a tiny village called Outwell. Oh, it's good because you can have a breather, but I constantly feel like I should be doing more. Oh, I was. I was asking. I was asking you, Saren, how you liked uh, the difference in paces of your job. I always think you guys have the craziest names though. Peterborough. There we go. Yeah, Burra, there we go. I was like, I feel like I'm pronouncing it just a little wrong. You guys have the wildest names though, Sarah. And I love reading street names in the UK. They're so freaking hilarious, some of them. And then some of them are just really cool. I was super obsessed with British street names when I was like in the seventh grade for some reason. Probably because I was super into Lord of the Rings. I mean, I still am insanely into fucking Lord of the Rings. Cambridge. We have some places near here called Little and Great Snoring. That's hilarious. crashing onto shore for now let's see what do I want to do with the moon and I'm wondering what I should do with I'm definitely gonna do this right here so let's do that as well okay uh, place in your trail called wet wing <laughs> oh, I love it that's what I'm talking about like the names are so great like they're so like some of them are so comical you're you have to really think about like how hilarious that is like just for the you know just for the sake of it being kind of funny but then again i'm pretty sure like some of the names we have here in, in the u.s are probably ridiculous in the house things real quick and leave a lurk thank you so much for the lurk miss ashley i appreciate you and thank you so much for the raid again you are amazing
aka Snake Up. There's three holes in the bridge for the river to go through. Little snoring sounds like the perfect place for a la for a nap. Okay, uh, we also have a village called Three Holes. <laughs> you got me. Now I know you're making this up. Why is this? <laughs> that is so crazy. I hope this doesn't look bad. See that line? All right, that looks really good, actually. That that'll be perfectly blended whenever I uh, put the brown into this into the uh, into the sand. actually that's starting to really come together like a lot a lot um i'm definitely gonna add blue uh so like i'll probably add like a blue all up into the backs of each of the shading and then what i'm thinking of doing is and i don't know if it'll come out so i probably will have to do it with like a white marker um putting a line of white right underneath the black outline after i've done blue over the whole thing after i've done blue over the whole thing and I'll leave a little negative space in the blue. Between the blue and the back end of all of this shading, I'm gonna leave a little negative of white space. So it'll complement, I think, the contrast of the white outline in front of the wave, and that'll give it more of an effect of it being a place where uh, the waves are kind of crashing and creating like that water foam kind of experience thing. Um, he is shooketh. <laughs> But uh, yeah, this is already looking really nice. So we got our, uh, from our first little sketch, which is right over here, kind of just the idea of what I wanted to do. Um, now to this, and we do need to add color and we still need to do um, our little spaceship. So I think on the spaceship, I'm gonna do the same thing, uh, kind of just go from the bottom up in terms of the lighting. I think I'm gonna have to do the same thing to the moon and then we should be done with the shading, with the uh, gray washing. Okay, let's get down to our little UFO. I wanna do that next and then we'll do the, or you know what, we should do the moon first. Let's do the moon first. 
I'm just gonna do some shading from the bottom up on the moon. light blue maybe like a like a little bit lighter than the than the water maybe the water I can do like a azul like a dark like a really dark nicely saturated kind of color holy shit I just connected my clippy no okay going to bed have a great rest of the stream thank you so much you see for being here Capone as well like I said once I can find my Microsoft game pass uh, I'll try to get it connected and then maybe me and Snakeup can join you and Capone for some uh, Minecraft role-playing. That sounds like it'd be a lot of fun. This is a fire mix. stuff. Oh, 
Alrighty. Uh, the shaking on the... UFO is a little dark. Really hard to blend that. Well, that's a really, really rough shading on that one, but I, I'm okay with that. I'm fine with that. All right. I think we are done with the gray wash or our spit shading for our little kind of um, a little our little uh, picture theme. I'm, I'm kind of still wondering if we should put some fonting in it somewhere. Wonder what we could do. Hmm. Well, in any case, I should at least. Graph it. Okay, so we have to let this dry. dry before we add any color to it but what we're gonna be doing for sure for sure I kind of feel like I can put some fonting here and here mm, I feel that I don't want to saturate the page because again I still have to color the sky I could just do watercolor uh, like a real nice like uh, night theme maybe some light purples some cream colors in the purple. Still have to add the color for this for the sand as well. Good. I think this is good. This is another uh, this is another piece that I worked on, guys. So so far, these are my two pieces that I've completed. I need to definitely need to. Oh, I can do that. I'll do flash number two. Okay. Cool. 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 Here, let me see. Where would I put that? That I could just do anywhere here. Flash two, so we can just keep up with all of my flash work. And then I'm dating them, so I've already been drawing for a year. To be honest, I think uh, October will be my uh, one year anniversary of learning how to draw. So like, this is only a few months of, of progress, by the way, guys, like this right here, uh, it's probably uh, I, so I started drawing and by the way, I couldn't even draw a straight line. I couldn't draw sh like I mean it, I, absolutely wild uh, Let me show you guys some of my first 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 Again, this was way back in the day. This was my first attempt to say it like at uh, sparrows, right? Oh, here, let me get this out of the way and Then I mean like I couldn't even like, that was an attempt at an eagle can see just how freaking crazy all the scribbles and everything are. This is an eye that I tried to do in like October. My skulls in 2022. Again, just practicing circles with the curvature coming off the wing. Just trying to get good at like very basic, very basic techniques. Look at that. Look at this cross right here. And then look at that cross right there. Getting a little bit better. Seeing my birds are getting, my burbs are getting a little cleaner. 
I try to add wood grain to the cross. <laughs> uh, this was the inspiration for today's artwork. Uh, so we can compare. Again, this has color. This was done with color pencil, so nothing too uh, too fancy with the colors. But then this is the newer version of it with the UFO, the birds, the, the beach, the sand, the moon. I think it looks a lot nicer. I definitely could work on a lot of stuff. Uh, this edge is rounded. This edge is kind of tapered uh, into a, like a, a little point. So uh, there's a lot that I could still fix. This, uh, these are two students of mine that asked me while I was still teaching to, to work on the, they're like, sir, you should do our name in like a certain font. This is my first dagger attempt. I have not attempted a dagger since then, since this. So this would be another cool thing to probably try to do. I think definitely the next thing I want to try to do is a dagger and harp probably on stream. Uh, this is when I started to get really a little bit more. Uh, I think this is already the beginning. No, this is still like, check it out. This is December 7th. December 17th, 2022. So yeah, this was probably early December. So this is probably already about like two months into my career. The eye I got is getting so much fucking better. As you guys can see, I added a nose with some shading into the nose. The skull is so much nicer. I added a crown with some shit ass wings. Wings are getting a lot better. Wings are getting better. Eyeballs are getting a lot more detailed. That's actually the pupil of the eye. Bless you, mama. This one I'm pretty proud of. This is where I started figuring out that I think I'm gonna start doing like um, traditional work. So this is my traditional line work practice. This was a gem that I tried to attempt to do in the shape of a box coffin kind of thing. Let's see, this is probably, and then this is another version of the same kind of thing. This one was a little bit better. Sun and the beach, sol y playa. So you can kind of see like my progression. I started getting into realism with flowers. This is a lighthouse with the water. This would be a cool one to redo as well. Oh yeah, I have my little muggler. Muggler, muggler. Muggler, 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 muggler. This young lady, if you'll believe it, Mama, thank you. She's 10 years old. Bye, bye. So more eye practice. I tried drawing my energy drink. <laughs> but as you guys can see, like my progression is starting to get a lot more refined. This is a more realistic, classic kind of sun that I was doing learning how to draw from perspective so that's like a face kind of looking up off the side different shading techniques i drew a guy's eyeball inside a fucking what was supposed to be like a christmas i think like a i forgot what those are called just more stuff just more practice this is, uh, some teeth with a mouth fingers are hard as shit to draw some more shapes and this is where I really just start getting into my traditional art form so yeah this is uh, another leaf this is another rose that are like a flower that I did from a top-up view practicing my old English my calligraphic old English different perspectives on the rose a little UFO I tried doing once before really like this diamond. This diamond actually came out really cool. This diamond came out really good, actually. But yeah, so uh, I started drawing last year and uh, in that year, this is where I've gotten to. So we have this flash right over here. We have another flash right over here. I'm just building up my flash collection. I'm going to start hanging up all my stuff, actually. I need to start hanging it up once I paint it. But uh, yeah, this is just my stuff that I'm working on. I'm trying to get better at this art form. I thought this was pretty cute. I added a, a Triforce and a Rupee to my, to my flash over here. Okay, I love
love pugs. <laughs> All right. So let's do that last little, we'll add flash too. And then I think actually I'm gonna call stream for the afternoon here. And we'll save the coloring. You know what we can do next stream? What I'll do is I'll just color both of these in. And I actually have a smaller little, uh... so these are three other flash sizes that I wanna work on. Cause I do wanna start, um... I do wanna start framing all of these things. So maybe like I'll do like a small, maybe I'll do like a heart. Sorry, on this one, just like a heart. Or on this one, since it's a little harder to work with this size, this dimension, um, maybe I'll do a dagger on this one. We'll do like a dagger. And I'll have all three of my flashes and we'll paint all three of them on the stream next time. I think that, that'll be a perfect stream actually. Cause I want to get used to working with different size um, like canvases. I don't want to have the canvas just be a big ass piece of paper at all times. That's realistically not going to happen in the shop. Okay. So we'll do. That looks good. Nothing too, too posh, right? In the words of uh, our wonderful Miss Saren who taught us what that meant last time. We'll put flash right here. Perfect. All right. All right, guys. So I think that'll be it for me for the stream today on uh, for our first part of the day. Don't forget Mondays, Wednesdays, Fridays. We're going to start trying to do two a days. Uh, the only reason why I'm not fully committed to doing two a days every day in the week just yet. Um, like I said, if I do happen to pick up an apprenticeship somewhere sometime soon, hopefully during this next fall or hopefully during spring of next year, after already having a good year and a half, almost two years of drawing under my belt, I should be able to pick up an apprenticeship somewhere. As long as I keep practicing and getting better, right? Obviously. Um, so what I realistically want to do is whenever I do get an apprenticeship, like I, or if I start working at a shop actually, right? Um, I don't want to have already committed to doing like two days every day of the week. And if I have to cut it down to just one back to like one stream uh, on those days, it won't be as big of a deal. But for now, while I have the extra time, there's really no reason for me not to engage with my community as much as absolutely possible. So that's where this idea came from in terms of us uh, streaming twice a day, at least three days out of the week uh, during the working week. So if you guys uh, enjoy the stream right now, um, 
one, thank you so much for the support. Thank you so much for just being a part of this uh, with me and hanging out. It, it, it's very much appreciated and all this helps me get better. Uh, but secondarily, uh, don't forget to pop in again and hang out with us again and enjoy the content. And this time it's going to be some video games. I'm not sure if we're going to be playing Valorant or if we're going to be playing Stolen Rumps tonight. Uh, but I can guarantee it's probably going to be one of the two. Like, I, I'm, I'm going to say probably like a 90 percent chance it's going to be one of those two games uh it, I, and I, I throw that random 10 percent chance because i don't know what's going to happen with the boys tonight uh so if i don't have all the boys maybe i might just do like a stranded deep stream we still got to beat those just disgusting uh creatures but yeah i'm out for now and uh hopefully you guys enjoyed the uh two flashes we've done together on stream so these are the two we've done and uh yeah thank you guys for being here so i am out i will see everybody a little later on this evening much love from crypto so again thank you everybody for being here every everybody I, I really appreciate you uh snake thank you so much for the gifted subs before i go real quick and sarah thank you so much for popping in issy thank you for the raid mr laura thank you for the raid and all the raiders and you followers thank you guys so much for joining the community uh seriously much love guys really really appreciate you all so uh i will see you all a little bit later bye